Hey guys, I'm Rich Woods from NeoWin. Today we're talking about Instagram beta. No, not that Instagram beta, the brand new Instagram beta that's built for Windows 10. All right, so we can see the, the app description right here. It has a, a 3.8 rating, which, which seems a little bit odd, to be honest, because I've heard a lot of reports about it that it's not so great that it crashes. Um, doesn't open on my A30, don't, doesn't work on my 435. Um, perfect. <laughs> now that's just the app description. And notice, by the way, only supported processors are ARM. Okay, so this is a universal app, but that's why we're not seeing it on, on the desktop right now because there's no x86 or x64 builds. Um, now, what we notice here is that it's by Instagram, okay, which means it's by Facebook. Okay, because obviously Facebook owns Instagram. So as if you're a Windows Phone user, you know that the Facebook app that already exists um, is made by Microsoft. The, the other Instagram beta app actually is also made by Instagram, as we'll see uh, right here. But this is a horrific app. Okay, if you're, if, if you're an Instagram user, chances are you went with six tag by now, which... We can see right here. Six tag is widely known as the the good Instagram client client for Windows Phone. Um, honestly, I, I'm not a huge Instagram user, but everything I've heard is that uh, six tag is the way to go compared to Instagram Beta. Which, by the way, Instagram Beta has been updated entirely once since its inception in late 2013. It was announced alongside the Lumia 1520, um, and they announced some other apps, Vine, Temple Run 2, and Asphalt 8. Right. Um, one thing that's interesting is that they, they didn't update the old Instagram beta app, which they, they very well could have. It's very easy to have a Windows Phone 8.1 app on the market and then upload a Windows 10 package so that Windows 10 users will be able to, to get the universal app. I guess they... they they didn't want this new beta to replace that old one for users. All right, so going down here, we have the, the tile. It's not a live tile. It's not anything. In fact, it's a, it's, I, I'm 100% sure that it's going to be a placeholder because it's just a, a horrible tile. And we can also set it to wide there. Now, it doesn't always, always set to wide, but there is no tile. <laughs> and you'll see here that now it'll only bounce back and forth between small and medium. So now that we've seen the externals, the store description, the tile, and took a look at, at the other Instagram options on Windows Phone, let's take a look at this actual app here. All right, so notice that you get kind of an interface that's blocked by the, by the taskbar down there at first. It goes away. Sometimes it takes a lot longer than that to load. Um, now this is, make no mistake, it is an iOS port. It is not an Islandwood port. It's um, Facebook's own technology. So we were hoping to see some Islandwood ports because it would give some publicity to the bridges, but that's not what that is. Now this message up here, thanks for using Instagram Windows Beta, that comes up every single time that you load the app. In fact, it comes up every time you refresh your feed. Okay, it, it's, it gets kind of annoying. Right? Um, you notice it's not really a smooth, it's, it's not really smooth scrolling there. Um, you'll notice that, that on other apps, such as six tag, the, the scrolling is much smoother. I mean, we could see that, that even on the, the old Instagram app, the scrolling is smoother. All right. Um, now keep in mind, this is an A30. This is a 650. The, the 650 is, it's a, it's a, it's a fine phone. Performance is about the same as the A30. So it's, it's certainly not the hardware. I've done a few videos about the 630 already. So let's try posting a picture. All right. We're going to let it access my location All right now. I want to go through my library because that's not the night. Oh, and we could post a photo also. All right. And we have the option to go square or a, a wide shot, which, um, is a nice option. A lot, uh, Instagram used to force users to, to post square photos. So it's nice to, to not have to do that anymore. So we also, obviously, we could take a photo, we could take a video, um, but let's try posting a photo, because I've heard of a lot of people that have, that have just had the app crash on them when they try to do this. So I hit next, all right, um, we've got our filters here, 
and I, I I'm not obviously we're not seeing the actual the actual photo there. It's it's went away. So let let's just try to move forward. We're not we're also not seeing the filters. Right. So let's let's just keep moving forward. Um, and it seems to be working just fine. Well, it worked. Um, and there's that thank you for using. Oh, wait, it crashed. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stories about this app crashing. And we'll notice, though, if we go move over here to six tag, that photo did get posted to Instagram. So so it did its job. It just ended up crashing. Um I don't know that much about Facebook's cross-platform developer tools for porting an iOS app over to uh, Windows app. Um, they must have faith in it if they plan to, to make this happen. Um, I also don't know if, if their platform to do this allows you to, to create projects in x86 or x64. It must, though. Um, other than that, the app seems to be... Pretty much fine. We we can just scroll across here. Everything seems to work, um, but it does seem to crash every once in a while. But other than that, it is the the exact it's it's the iOS app, which which is a good thing. Um, what we have to hope for in the Windows Phone world is that they'll update it at the same time as they update iOS apps because. Features come to the iOS app first. In fact, Instagram was on iOS for a long time before it was even on Android. So it's nice that we're getting the iOS app. Anyway, that's about it. Um, I, I I wouldn't rec I can't recommend this as your your daily Instagram driver right now because obviously it's not ready. Um, and there are good Instagram clients on Windows Phone such as Six Tag. So. I'm sure it'll get better. It's a beta. Um, actually, I shouldn't say I'm sure because remember, we had a beta once before. And Instagram beta is not just Instagram beta. It's Instagram beta. It's like it's yelling it at you. It's all capitals. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so th that thing came out almost two and a half years ago now. And it's only been updated once because it was broken um, back in August because it, they changed their APIs or something and they updated it to fix it. There have been no other updates. Um, obviously, after two and a half years, it's still in beta, which is um, almost as much time as Cortana has been in beta for anyone with a Windows Phone 8.1 device. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's the new Instagram app. I'm Rich Woods from NeoWin. Have a great night.